This is Sabrina the Teenage Witch number 55 and it's the from the Archie Comics group in the Archie series and it sold for 40 cents and Aunt Hilda says Sabrina it's the very latest in witchcraft appliances a microwave kettle. You can see here it says powdered bat wings and toad eyes and she's got it plugged in. And the back cover is Star Trek The Motion Picture, coming this Christmas to a theater near you. And this is from September 1979. And on the inside front cover, there's an advertisement. Two big hits, Hostess Cakes, free baseball cards. And there's Hostess Cupcakes and Hostess Twinkies. And the first story is Sabrina in Beach screech. How about this spot over here, Aunt Hilda? It looks okay, Sabrina, as long as it's private and far away from those silly pesky mortals. You couldn't ask for any more privacy than this. We're practically isolated. Then it's fine with me. I'm going to take a nap. I got it, Vito. Hey, watch what you're doing. You got sand all over me and I just put suntan oil on. Yuck! Hee hee, you do look like sandpaper, so go jump in the lake, cutie. Don't you know there's no ball playing allowed on the beach? Who are you? Grandma the Parks Commissioner? Is that get up? In that get up, you look more like Cuckoo the Clown. I didn't know the circus was in town. You should have become an operating room nurse. You'd be a lot better off wearing a mask. Hee hee, ha ho. She's got more wrinkles than a dried prune. Why, that young whippersnapper, I'll zap him into orbit. No, Aunt Hilda, let him be. Just ignore him. Ignore him? I'd like to put out his lights. We came here to relax, so let's enjoy the sun. Yeesh. Thump. Nice stop, doll. That's using the old noodle. Throw the ball back, will ya? Let me give them the ball back. Zap. Here, catch. Huh? Hey, that's... This ain't our ball, plop. It's a bee's nest. Yipe! Let's head for the water. Splash. Zap. Gasp, yo! Snort. Come on, feet, move. Is it still in back of us? I don't see it. Where'd it go? I'm never coming back to this beach. Me neither. Maybe now I can take my nap. Me too. You made that so convincing. I don't think I'll be going in the water today. And here's Little Jinx, you don't say. Little Jinx. I like these TV talk shows. Uh -huh. Charlie, you can learn so much from the people they have on. They have many movie stars, authors, scientists. Last week there was. And another thing, the top baseball players give some important tips on how to play. Charlie, I don't think you understand. The people on TV do the talking. And the next story is Sabrina in a fleeting meeting. I'm supposed to meet Sabrina here, Ambrose. I think we're going someplace for dinner. Okay, have fun, Hilda. Yeesh, that girl is always late. Why can't she be on time? There's a question mark and then whistling. Are you whistling at me? A question mark. No, I wasn't whistling at you. Well, why are you staring at me? I'm not staring. I'm just waiting for someone. A likely story, you wolf. I know your type. Why don't you move along before I call a policeman? I've got as much right to stand here as you do. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Whack. Of all the nerve, that creep. I'll fix him. Zap. Zap. 
So you think you're funny, do you? Question mark. What are you talking about? Don't play coy with me, Buster. This is for knocking off my hat, splat. Glub, what was that all about? Hee hee, ha ha, he. Did a frisbee come flying by here? There it is. I guess that explains why he was so surprised. Mr. Miller? Hello, Sabrina? Question mark. This is Harvey's father. We're going to meet Harvey at the restaurant and have dinner with them. He wanted his father to meet you. Oh boy, is this ever going to be a fun evening. And here's an order form for Joke Book Comics Digest number five, 95 cents plus 30 cents for shipping and handling, total $1.25. And then here's Archie three for a dollar checklist. No orders accepted after December 31st, 1979. And here is an advertisement for Fruit Stripe Gum. And the next uh, story is Sabrina and Boxing Match. Hey Sabrina, tomorrow is that old fashioned church social auction, whatever you call that thing at the community hall. Box supper, Harvey. The women make up box suppers and they're auctioned off. High bid gets to share the supper with the girl who made it. Sounds like fun, as long as I get yours. Well, I've been thinking about that. There will be some sort of clue in the way I decorate the box. Great, I'll be looking for it. Hey, 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 and so will I. Tomorrow, Sabrina eats with me, but those who don't know it yet. I'm going to make up a box supper, and it's going to look like Sabrina made it. It'll have a clue so obvious, it'll hit old Harv smack in the face. He he, and so will the contents of the box. Hmm, there's a tingling sensation on the back of my neck. I sense treachery somewhere nearby. Aha! Here comes that pest, Willie Wooster, and the feeling's getting stronger. Hey, cuties. Oh, sorry. Hey, cutes. Are you going to the box supper? We sure are. Hmm. Harvey, shh. Me too. It's going to be a nice bass batch, I betcha. That's one heck of an evil grin on, on Willie. I think I'll tune in on his thought waves. Giggle a spring... Under a cherry pie, Harvey opens the box. Hee 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 yuck, splat, spring. Oh, I forgot the snicker. <laughs> My clue has to be more obvious than Sabrina, so Harvey will be sure to bid on mine. Just what I'd expect of the work of Willie, a practical joke. I don't like to take advantage of people, but I've got no mercy for practical jokers. So the event transpires and the auction begins. 40 cents, 150, two. E, that's got to be Sabrina's. That's a clue if I ever saw one. He he, he's going for it. And for five dollars to Harvey. I got it, I got it. He ha, he's gonna open it. He's gonna get it when he opens it. Hey, hey, look at what I got, Sabrina. Same ribbon as you were wearing in your hair. So you think it's mine, Willie? Spell me a spell of some real classy witchery What's in those boxes will start to play switchery. I got it, Sabrina. Open it. Let's see what she's cooked up for you. Chicken, just the way I love it. And apple pie. And what? What happened to? Splat. Sprong. Ha ha. Who made up that supper for you, Willie? He he. For once, Willie Wooster is getting his just desserts. But it's not even the same box I put it in. Zzz, what a sloppy eater. And here's Archie Club News, and there's an order, not an order form, well, I guess it's an order form, to become an Archie Club member. And here's a puzzle, Sabrina's Genie's Wish. Sabrina has her genie ready to grant you a wish. Just find the one and only path to the wish in the lamp. Start here. And then you go to Wish Granted. The next story is Sabrina and Closed Circuit. Wow, what an exciting TV show. Am I glad I came over here tonight? What driving? Stonewall Stern is going to catch those creeps. Nope. He's going to go right off the cliff. Bang, roar, screech. Ach, Aunt Hilda's right. He's heading right for the edge. I can't look. Well, that's it, kids. The show's over. 
Oh no, what a place to leave us. To be continued. Man, the most action-packed series I've ever seen. It sure kept me on the edge of my seat. That Stonewall Stern is great. I never saw him before. Neither did I. He'll go far. He's awfully good. I'm going to catch that next week, that's for sure. Right, see you tomorrow, Harvey. That was a really good show, Aunt Hilda. Yes, I was proud of that my, one myself. Proud? Why well, should be proud of a TV show? Oh, well, sometimes Aunt Hilda does strange things with the English language. Cheapers. I didn't even get the name of that great show. Sabrina, say what was the name of that show anyway. Or I don't know. Never mind. I've got a weekly TV schedule around here someplace. Okay, Harvey. Let's see. This is Tuesday, so I want next Tuesday at 8.30. That's funny. Nothing sounds like the show we saw. Couldn't find it, Harvey. I'll ask Aunt Hilda. She put it on. Okay, call me back. You know that great show we all watch, Aunt Hilda? Yes, Sabrina. What is it called? I didn't give it a name. Ack, that was one of yours? Only kind I watch, child. Can't stand the dumb stuff the networks put on TV. My witch powers project a better picture, and I write better yarns than them TV pencil pushers. Er, no wonder Harvey can't find it in his TV schedule. Zap. The Stonewall Stern Show. Of course he can't. Stonewall Stern comes out of my head. Then you'll continue it next week at the same time? Did it an hour ago. I wound up the story while I was cooking dinner. Aunt Hilda, you've got to do it again. We can't have Harvey thinking there's something different about us. Oh, good grief. Some sort of freak wavelength, Harvey. It only seems to bring the picture into this small area. Who cares as long as I get to see it? So next week, bang, bang, screech. Come on, Stonewall man. What a show. This thing could run five, maybe ten years. Don't hold your, hold your breath, ding-a-ling. And here's full color poster spectacular number two advertisement. There's a giant McNichols, Coneheads, L.A. Farah, Giant Lad, Kiss Collage, Miss Carter, Miss Anton. And here's some additional ones here. Leaf Garrett, Donnie Marie, Sean Cassidy. Olivia Newton-John, Saturday Night Cast, Miss Teagues, Grizzly Adams, Clint Eastwood, John Travolta. Thanks for watching.